Doug, hey man, I am so intrigued about Ghoulsville. Tell, tell the audience, what, what's Ghoulsville about? Well, Ghoulsville is uh, something that we started just a couple years ago. Um, for years, I'd wanted to see the old kids' costumes that I grew up with, you grew up with, back in the 70s and 80s. I kept waiting for some cool Halloween decor to come along, and I got tired of waiting. And I said, I had the vision in my head, I said, let's do it. So it took us a good year or so developing it, working on it, and it's my artwork design, and we came out with a handful of them a couple years ago, and people absolutely fell in love with them. Did the window box, so it looks just like the old vintage uh, costumes, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So everything else is kind of expanding from Ghoulsville. From these masks, we're starting to get into pins and more patches, and it's really kind of changed our whole business. Uh, I love it, man. I love the crazy cat. It's like, yeah, right. What, what's the most popular one people freak out of? Well, you know, each introduction, it gets a little different, but these ones up here, up top, uh, Shock Wolf right now, this bright pink and blue. I thought it might be too funky a color, but that's what I remember in the 70s, and I'm like, I want to try it, and everybody absolutely fell in love with it. So that's when selling off the hook. All right, is there gonna be a clown in the future, perhaps? Well, you know, if I'm inspired as of such, you never know, you never know. I'll, I'll send chocolates, I'll send chocolates. <laughs> well Maybe then, that's... in that case, yes. Or clown girls, one of the two, I don't know. Hey, I'm loving this booth, and, and I see that you're into the vintage cereal, man. Frankenberry, Count Chocula, right? Well, tell me about what you're doing with that. Well, that's something that we just introduced here at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, just here at the show. Uh, it's. We have partnered up with General Mills. We're doing the cereal monsters. On the back side of the box, it looks like a giant monster cereal box. It's a vintage art. On the front is a window. We're even throwing in a free monster spoon with each, with each mask, just like when you were a kid, you had to have a prize. I said, we gotta have a prize in there, so each one's gonna have a sculpted adult size cereal spoon with the monster logo on it and monster head. How many times as a kid did you like eat this for dinner? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Or going, or going shopping just to see what the prizes were in the aisles and yeah. pick your cereal by that. I did that a lot too, so. <laughs> And then your artwork here has a distinctive style. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's something um, a few years back, you know, I'd gone to school for uh, graphic design and illustration. And, you know, I just, I needed to get back to it. And about 10 years ago, I started working at it, working at it every morning, evening. This is what I do on the weekends, evenings, that kind of thing. And I'm just inspired by real traditional illustration styles, Basil Gogos. Rosetta, that, those kind of guys that painted in a real traditional painterly style, that's that's what I do. And, and hey, if you love this stuff to hang on your wall, you love the art, there's also, he's selling enamel pins, right? Yes, what? enamel pins, yeah, yeah, those, we, we, we have matched our, uh, our uh, uh, masks with the window box and shrunk them down and people are absolutely going crazy for that. The Mars attacks especially, people are loving that little window box with the pin in it, so. And then, hey, let's just walk over here for a minute. This is why I, I almost canceled this interview because he's got these like bric-a-brac resin heads and I'm like, holy crap, you, look at this, buddy. It's like, I'm gonna, you could, you know, dissect a doll and then put a frickin' skull on it. Is that the intention? Any, th any creative idea you got, you can go for it, man. Yeah, yeah, paint them, drill them, sand them. You, you have fun with them. All right, I might make my own toy line here at Ghoulsville, but uh, hey, love this guy, support him, and buy a frickin' wall mask for your house, impress your girlfriend, boyfriend, or grandma, whoever. Yep. And it's all to be found at retroagogo.com. Hey.